Hi everybody, Allie here from Chibitronics. Today we're going to be lighting up this super cute snowy scene today. And we are going to be using the fabulous animating LED stickers. We're going to use the white blink stickers today and they are gem shaped. And let's get started. Today's card features the Menjingo Falala stamp set. And aren't those little lantern lights cute? And we're going to make them blink, kind of like old-fashioned lantern lights might. When I stamp my original panel, I create a back piece for my circuit base. Uh, when I stamp the thing that is going to be lit up in the image, what I do is I actually stamp it on the inside of my card. So the positioning of those three lanterns is perfect when it comes for positioning my stickers. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to add our battery holder. And this was going to correspond with the Merry Christmas greeting. So I'm going to put it down in that right hand corner. These are really easy to use because all they are is, in my case, I'm going to bend that score line first. And then there's just a backer that you just have to peel off. And of course, my nails are going to be uncooperative today. So it's just a peel and stick. Now to make my uh, circuit a lot easier to build, I wanna make sure that my tape can come off one side and on the fold for the positive side and open on the inside. So the inside isn't as impacted. We're going to put it, so I'm going to jam it right into the corner, almost in the corner, because I know my sentiment is very much low on my card. Next, we're going to use the Chibitronics stencil. This is fabulous for creating all of your circuits, including mapping out your battery holder, um, any LED effect stickers, and of course, any of our LED regular stickers. We have the original red and white fade, which is heart shaped. We have rainbow fade, which is floral shaped and our white blink, which we're going to use today with uh, the gem shape. And you have measurements all the way down the sides too, to help with positioning and measuring your circuit. All right. So I'm going to locate all three of our white blink stickers and they're literally just going where the bulbs are. And I'm just going to trace my stencil, don't forget the little dot in the center on all three spots on my card. The next thing that we're going to locate is we're going to locate the negative side of our circuit. And I'm going to go back and bring in a gem sticker here. Again, they're gem shaped. Each of our stickers is clearly labeled with the positive and negative side. So you can see just above that little light, there is a plus sign. So I know that this side of the sticker is the positive side and the pointier part of our gem is the negative side. So I know I need to connect the negative side of my battery to all of the points on my gems. I'm gonna start by anchoring myself underneath the battery. And again, we need to connect all three of these. And we're just going to create a line up to the bottom. I like to do the bends on my circuits, not on the stickers. I find it just makes for easier circuit creating. So we're just going to take that negative line and the negative side of our circuit and connect all the points of the gems. There we go. That is literally the negative side of our circuit. Okay. I'm going to use a red pen and we're going to do the same thing for a positive side. So like we reviewed, the chunkier side of our gems is the positive side. The positive side starts on the inside of our battery holder. So this is the flap that touches the top of the battery or the positive side of our battery. It's going to come and wrap around. And then I need to take this. And I could cross my line, which would make my circuit shorter, 
but there's other ways to do it. So we're going to track our point up here and across. That way I don't have to cross that line. You can definitely make paper bridges to create that ba boundary across a circuit. You can absolutely do that. But instead, we're just going to take our positive line of our circuit up a little bit. And then we're going to take it around and across all three tops of our gem shaped stickers. And there we go. That's how simple this circuit is. Let's go and add some tape. The next thing we're going to add is the tape to each side of our circuit today. We're actually going to use our conductive fabric tape and I'm going to use my open roll. This is our new packaging, but you can absolutely use our conductive copper tape as well in place of the fabric tape. So if you have this at home, you can absolutely use this too. So I'm going to start my circuit actually on the negative side. I find it a lot easier to start um, underneath my battery. So I'm just going to take my tape and peel off the backer. And I'm just gonna place it over top of those blue lines. So to go around the corner, I just kind of pressed it down because we gotta go 90 degrees pretty much here. And it kind of creases the tape, which allows it to bend. So you're gonna basically bend it back on itself to create that 90 degree angle. And then again, you just wanna make sure that this tape is crossing over the pointed part of our gem shaped stickers and that's it this tape is very very flexible and really easy to cut there we go the negative side of our circuit is complete let's complete the positive side of our circuit that's indicated by our red line and we're going to start on the inside of our battery holder, just like the little diagram shows. Now the arrow points in, but I always kind of start here. Okay, we're going to wrap it around that flap. We're going to take it down the side because this is three dimensional. It's a little bit thick. We have score lines to make it three dimensional. And then we're just going to, again, follow our red lines. I really appreciate mapping out your circuit first. I find it a lot easier to have your map or template, so to speak, ready to go. So you don't have to think about where my tape is gonna go next. So if you take the time to map out all of the elements of your circuit, then it's really easy just to apply that tape very very quickly and all it is is a snip at the end there we go and just make sure everything's stuck really nice and the backer i just put off and it goes to the garbage and there we go there's the positive side of our circuit all complete and all we have to do is add stickers our animating led stickers come in a pack of six or 24 so more for your money, go for the 24. To use them, all you have to do is peel and stick. So you're just gonna go back to your template and make sure that your sticker is touching the appropriate sides of the circuit. And all it is is a peel and stick. And there we go, all three stickers applied. We have one more little job to do. We're gonna bring in the C-shaped foam to go along with our battery holder. And this is double-sided sticky. Just peel it off. And I'm gonna start by peeling one backer off that C-shape. And you're just gonna tuck it inside the folded battery holder here. Try not to get it stuck to my fingers. 
So then you're going to take a three volt coin battery and you're going to drop it in that C shape. And for you at home, you're going to peel this off and you're going to stick this closed. And this becomes the switch to your circuit. And by pressing down on the switch, it activates your lights. All right, let's finish the inside and then we'll make our final finished card. This three-dimensional foam is offered with our battery holders. And for mine, I'm going to double duty and I'm gonna split mine in half. And all this does is just maximizes the amount of foam tape I can use. So it doubles in size, basically. You don't have to do this at, so, at all. I'm just being frugal today. All right. And then to ensure that your card sits properly, because this foam is very three dimensional, so it's going to give you some bulk to your card or your project. You're going to kind of bump up things is basically what you're doing. So I'm just going to apply this all the way around the outside of my card to make the card flat. And there we go. All of our 3D foam is applied to the outer aspects of our card. All right, let's check out our final card. We have our battery in. And again, you're gonna take off that sticky backer and close yours up. Um, I designed my cards with Velcro so that I can open them up for everybody to see the circuit. So that's why I have funny dots. So here's our finished card. We're gonna turn off my lights and see it in action. There we go. Thank you so much for joining me today. Make sure to like, subscribe, and leave me a comment. I'd love to know what you think of today's card. Have a great day, everybody.